I have the iPhone 12 Pro. Not yet. I saw the promo video and I wanted it so bad. Not the iPhone 12 Pro, but the wallpaper. And I thought it could be worth trying to recreate it in After Effects. It took me 6 hours to match the original as close as possible. Not because it was difficult. Basically, the animated wallpaper just consists of position and scale animations, fade-ins and fade-outs. The devil lies in the detail. Chromatic aberration, intricate blurs and individual glows. This is Apple's version taken from their website and this is my version. It's not a pixel perfect copy, but that was not my goal. And it wouldn't have taken 6 hours if I used optical flares, but I always challenge myself to create everything without any plugins, as I already did before. The animation seems to be complex, but can be boiled down to one element. An arc. Disco. Create a shape layer, add an ellipse, trim and taper the path. Duplicate the shape layer, apply a CC radial blur effect with type set to fading zoom, position the center above the arc and increase the amount. To create an inner glow, apply curves, modify the alpha channel to make it more visible, and set the stroke color to blue. To simulate chromatic aberration, select the original arc, make it green, apply a fast blur, change blur dimensions to vertical and set a small blur radius. Duplicate the arc, make it red and set the Y scale slightly above 100. Duplicate the arc again, make it blue and set Y scale slightly below 100. Select all layers and set blending mode to add. Create an adjustment layer. Apply a CC radial blur. Put the center on the arcs vertex and increase the amount. This creates a blur gradient and we got a basic arc for everything. Now animate the position, the scale and transparency of multiple arcs. And it looks like this. To create the V-shaped caustics, put the basic arc into a new composition, rotate it 90 degrees, duplicate it and set X scale to negative 100. Let the arcs slightly overlap in the composition center and mask both arcs to trim them like this. Now animate the position, the scale and transparency of multiple caustics and it looks like this. To create an eye-shaped lens layer, put the basic arc into another composition, apply a mirror effect, set reflection angle to 90 degrees and adjust the reflection center. Now animate the position and let the bottom arc fade out. And it looks like this. And it looks like this with the caustics. And it looks like this with the arcs. Original, After Effects. Original, and After Effects. Please subscribe. Disco.